there's a very strong demonic um, oppression that we need to shut out in our generation. So this is how the enemy shuts down a lot of believers through affecting and attacking their thoughts. Okay, listen, it is demonic for you to sit down and all you are thinking about is negativity. All this believer is thinking about is that things will no longer work again. Or maybe the believer starts thinking he's going to lose his job. Or the believer starts thinking he's going to fail academically. You see, it is demons that sponsors this kind of thoughts. Especially if you're a very pray prayerful believer. You need to shut this down immediately. And I'm going to share with you on how to shut down this oppression. Now, before I continue, please like this video, subscribe to this channel, but please like because when you like this video, there's a lot of tendency that the video will spread and the algorithm is going to favor um, this particular video. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18, it says the things that, was, that are seen are made from the things that are unseen. So it means that anything you see manifesting has already been made real in the spirit realm. And your imagination is is one of the very powerful factors that god created in man to help man create things capture things first in the spirit before it is manifested in the physical so when satan begins to bombard your imagination with negativity especially if you are not a prayerful believer you see that um, the energy from prayers may start making that negativity come into manifestation in the physical world so you see that most attacks is not satan oh, the bible the bible did not call satan the bible called satan a liar the bible called satan a thief but the bible never called satan a fool so you need to understand that if you start picturing picturing negativity guess what what is happening is that if you are not a prayer for a man that fast uh, and gives himself to spiritual civilization you will notice that those negativity may start coming to pass because the energy you are generating from prayers uh, may start helping those negativity to come into manifestation. This is how to shut it down. Whenever you think negativity, immediately cast out that demon. In the name of Jesus, you demon projecting negative thoughts to me. I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Get behind me, Satan. Just imagine what, what happened in scripture. Peter came, Satan speaking through Peter, saying you will not die. Uh, we, are not, uh, we are not going to let you die. And Jesus looked at Peter and said, get behind me. So your first response to Satan should be what? Get thee behind me. Number two, you must learn to recreate the image. I'm, I'm, my emphasis is from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. It says, the things that are seen are made from the unseen. So, for you to shut down, when you, when you, when you shut down the, the activity of those demons by your declaration, the next thing you should do is to recreate the image. So, when Satan brings a bad image that something bad is going to happen to you, recreate the image in your subconscious, in your imagination, that something good is about to happen to you. And guess what? Begin to power it in tongues. Parakata. I am prosperous. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 8 God told the children of Israel He says this positivity Begin to write it on your door Paste it on your door Tie it around your hand Begin to see it Begin to look at it Because the more you look at something Both with your imagination And your physical eyes You are giving permission to the realm of the spirit That this thing must be created in the physical That is why you must give no room for negativity Around your atmosphere the Bible says, as a man thinking in his heart, so he is. You must give no room. Another device that Satan is, is, is actually uh, flooding sons of God with is that when you go into the place of prayer, you go, you, you go on your knees to pray, and Satan starts reminding you of your past. Start reminding you of your past, the wrong things you have done. And immediately you start remembering the wrong things you have done, you begin to, you, you start feeling unworthy, you start feeling condemned, you start feeling guilty. Guess what? Your faith is depleted. And guess what? Do you know what the Bible says? It says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Without faith, no man can receive anything from God. So Satan tries that, makes you feel unworthy, so your faith is going to go down. Listen, when that happens, the next thing you should do, confess, you see, your confession is stronger. In the name of Jesus, the Lord rebukes you, Lucifer. Get behind me, you devil. Now, when you begin to do this, guess what happens? When you begin to engage in this powerful, um, powerful secret, you are shutting down the agenda of the enemy. Listen, don't let Satan condemn you. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8 verse 1, there's no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Don't allow Satan flood your thoughts with negativity. Allow positivity because the more you see it with your imagination, 
because your imagination is your eyes of the spirit the more you see it with your imagination the more you are saying this thing must come to pass so if satan is flooding negativity to your imagination guess what he's trying to say negativity must come to pass so you cast out that demon and you recreate a positive image to help you better get scriptures with long life with the lord satisfy me and will show me salvation you go to Isaiah 54 17. No weapon fashion form against me shall prosper. Any tongue that rises up against me in judgment. Look, look at the Bible said. It said, Any tongue that rises up against you in judgment, not God will condemn. You, you, you are the one that must condemn it. You are the one. So if Satan speaks negativity to you, condemn it. He said, Thou shall condemn, not God shall condemn. You are the one that must take the responsibility of condemning it. All right? God bless you. Please shut down the activities of Satan this season of your life shut down the activities of satan god bless you please don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe stay tuned on this channel we're going to be starting up a series a new series on the prophetic realm all right for my next video trusting god we're going to start that series and we're going to wow it's going to be powerful we're talking about the voice of god in another dimension god bless you thank you for watching this video don't forget if it takes you going to buy a frame in the market of scriptures that speaks of possibility or give somebody the job to do it for you paste it on your wall and every morning look at it that devil is a liar God bless you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.